Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 28, I believe, of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem and this thing. Huh, I think my zoom is a little bit big. But yeah, uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I always say that. Oh, man, I am just having. I don't know. Well, either way, then hit the like button again, hit the subscribe. Well, unless that unclicks it. Anyway, uh, yeah, do what you need to do. Uh, today's problem is 1962. Two, we move stones to minimize the total. Uh, we have about a week left to the year, so hope y'all having a good. Uh, well, I don't know. For me, the year's been a little bit rough, but hope y'all just have a good the rest of the year. And maybe you know, twenty twenty three will be a little bit better. Um, do I have the weekly today? No, that's tomorrow. I you can never tell when it kind of comes out. Okay. Uh, so yeah. So let's see. So we have piles, and an injury K. You want to do K times? You want to take any piles and? We move half of it, um, and we move four of it, so that means we keep the ceiling. Uh, and then, okay, we turn the minimum possible total number of stones we move, remaining after applying K operations. Okay, did we do like a, I don't remember that was the premium one that I did yesterday, but it, this just seems to be, so, you know, uh, the logic here would be to kind of think through what, what, what is the operation that you want, right? So to minimize the, the, the total number of stones afterwards what you want is to take the one with the most stones like in a greedy way right and um you want to take the one with the most stones and then take you know remove half from it and in this case you can apply it multiple times so these are the two things we have for this problem right uh keep getting the max k times and then uh, uh i guess put it back in but yeah right so um, with some experience, you'll be able to quickly identify that this is what you want from a heap. So let's, um, let's they, but that's basically it, really. So let's let's get to it. Um, you can maybe do some heapify, and technically that's slightly faster, but eh, I just want to kind of write it out to be clearer. Maybe, I don't know. But yeah, so for X in piles, uh, we want to we want to push it to heap. And in this case, what we actually want is we want to sort by max, right? And I, uh, I think in Python as well. I, I really wish they have like a lambda f thing um, for push and whatever in general, but because they don't have a heap data structure, um, this is just a heap class operating on an array um, with the invariance and assumptions. Um, it's a little bit weird. So the way that I always shorthand it is just by using the subtraction because then now you have to minimize. Um, yeah, you want to minimize minimize all the um this is a min heap in python so now you have all the max because it's the negative right and then now so while k is greater than zero and you could do the two ways you can do it now i suppose and i'm just you know depends on the day maybe i would do it the other way but for example you could have the total count and then you could subtract it after you pop or you could just not you know trust yourself or something like that that at the end it'll be good so then you could just sum it up because some in this case is a very cheap operation if you have to do if the you know if these operations on uh as trivial like if you have if you run the analysis or the the time complex analysis and it, it's expensive to do certain things then you may lean one way or the other in this case it doesn't really matter so yeah so while k is greater than zero we want to get an x from he pop of h and of course we let's that, just you know flip it back to the right sign first um or maybe we could just do it this way i suppose and then now you want to remove half of the thing right so okay so you remove this and then now we we push it back into the heap for future use say and again this is negative x um and then at the way n well you have to subtract one otherwise that's sad i guess we could have done this in a for loop actually um I'm, I'm just very used to writing it that way for whatever reason and then just some of the heap and that's pretty much it is what i would say if it's right but i forget that uh we have negative numbers so uh yeah uh yeah there are no negative numbers i think i could just absolute this though eh, or maybe even just negative really um <clears throat> i forgot about that but uh yeah um you could also just pop each item but this is i guess linear let's give it a quick submit and hopefully i didn't miss like a zero case or something like that why did i get a wrong answer a year ago hmm. Hmm. why 
Why did I get a wrong answer? Oh, because of this thing, I guess. No. Hmm. Oh, because of that thing and I forgot to put it back into the thing. So... Uh, because it popped and then you forgot to put it back in. Okay, silly mistake from a year ago. But yeah, um, what is the complexity here, right? So, uh, I kind of... Uh, <laughs> I guess this is kind of suboptimal uh, for that reason, but hmm. let's see. Actually, I don't know. Hmm. I am relatively sure it is, but um, yeah. So I mean, you could replace this with Heapify and Heapify. Uh, if your your library has it, is you go to O of n, I believe. Uh, the way that I did it though, it's going to be uh, n log n because it's basically you know each one takes a log n and then there's n of them, right? So yeah, um, and here this does k log n operations for obvious reasons. Uh, there's k iteration and each one does log n twice, so it's k log n. So in total. Um, this is just going to be this plus n log n uh, time and O of n space just for the heap. Um, of course, like I said, you could reduce this to n and it'll be like this if you do a heapified. Um, and of course, this is just a linear uh, iteration to get a sum. Uh, cool. I think that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you have any struggles or whatever. Um, that's all I have for this one. So let me know what you think. So stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye bye.